What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We have a very, very special project that we're working on here. The Mobile Command Center. The new headquarters for everything business and entertainment related to Premier Outdoor Living is gonna happen in the Mobile Command Center. So let me give you a little tour. We're gonna start demoing this thing, rip all of this you know, the one that's on the walls. We're gonna rip off all this foam nonsense. We're probably gonna do like some UFP edge on the ceiling, get it looking real sweet. This is a 2010 E350 extended cargo van. It's got the high top, so, you know, we can stand in here. It's a little tight for me. Catherine will be able to just walk around comfortably, go for a little stroll in here. It's gonna be really nice. I'm excited. A little unorthodox to, uh, have a mobile command center, but I think once you see this thing finished, you're gonna be like, I need a mobile command center. It's gonna be a game changer for us. Catherine, are you excited? Yes, I am. Sounds like it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to some demo. We got the van all demoed and now we're back at HQ, AKA my driveway. So we have this metal tubing around our fiberglass high top. So we're screwing to this and then this is kind of coming down on an angle. So we're gonna have our framing kind of come down off of that and it's gonna pitch back. We're gonna figure out where our lines on the floor are gonna go and then we're gonna secure basically a bottom plate to that. And uh, what do you think? We'll have a mobile command center by the end of the day. Mobile command center by the end of the day. I thought you were just a carpenter. Turns out you're a van painter too. I'm a van painter too. If Sean can't van it, I'll van it. We'll van it together. Van never could. What? Can't never could. It's a saying that I tell, like to say, tell my son. Can't never could. Can't never could, but we can and we will. And we're doing. And we're doing. Because wherever you go, that's, that's where, where you, you are. are. Sorry. Nice tool belt. I thought more dust was gonna come off. Thanks. Woo! See, this is the fun stuff that we gotta deal with. We got all these bolts and we got just irregular stuff. It's no match for Tony though. starting to get this tongue and groove ceiling up and you can see I just attached these furring strips to this steel cage that gave us our nailing spot for the tongue and groove and I'm just using an inch and a quarter trim nails to attach to these furring strips so doing four on each furring strip it's keeping it nice and secure so I'm gonna nail this piece off and then we're gonna get into installing some starry night low voltage lighting in the ceiling because uh, I just think it'll be really cool so that's what we're gonna do here are the lights that I'm using. Just a simple Amazon uh, landscape light. I have these in the Amazon store and a link for those is down in the description. It's just a male and a female end. They screw together and then there's a little locking uh, nut on there. So super easy to use, perfect for this application. And uh, just gonna put them in here randomly, hook it up and I think it's gonna look pretty cool. What? What are you doing? 
hooking up lights in my van. How do you do that? <laughs> I'll show you. I'm also making a video. You want to be in it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. All right, so these lights, they come with this power adapter, okay? Okay. Usually we don't use this. We hook it up to a landscape transformer, but I'm going to hook it directly up to this, so we'll see if it works, all right? Okay. I guess you lose your job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. If it doesn't work, I might lose my job. All right. Where's your lights? Whoa! Look at that. So I like to have them plugged in as I'm going just to make sure that everything works because once I close this up, we're not going to be able to get to any of these connections. It's going to be a huge pain. So I've got five of them hooked up so far. Now I can add another board and we'll just hook them up as we go. I figured I could get a couple of these in and still be able to reach in and hook it up. But now we'll just do it one board at a time and uh, it's looking pretty sweet though. So we have the top in, we have walls up, we've got some cabinetry areas going. Now we want to finish off these windows because you don't want to you know, kill all these voids. So we're pretty much making like custom extension jams to fit like the contour of the shape of the window and everything. Um, and my method is to make all my pieces, scribe them to the contour, then build it as one unit, which I did here. So this is just one piece. Now I can slide it in there, set it so it's nice and flush, straight, tight, kill these voids, trim it out, make it look nice. That's pretty much it. It's good. Never built a van before. <laughs> it doesn't seem that way. You're doing a great job. <laughs> We got a lot of this kind of wrapped up. We've got these window wells all done, you know, really looks cool. It kind of gives the vibe that like you're at a reptile sanctuary at the zoo. I'm not sure if that makes us the lizards or if the lizard people are outside, but it kind of gives me that vibe. Here's where we're getting a little kooky and wild. We got, we're, <laughs> we got one by twos. And I just drew a bunch of lines on the wall. We're gonna have a random pattern of just, you know, a little bit of craziness. And then everything's gonna be painted the same color. I think it's gonna look freaking awesome. And uh, we're just gonna jump into it. Kind of play around with it. I think we've got a good enough template to get started on this design. And uh, from there, we'll just see how it looks. We can make adjustments as we go. What do you think? I think it's gonna look great. Thank you. when you enter the MCC, you want to be inspired. So we thought we'd put an inspiration board right here with inspirational quotes. What's, and what's the quote you got there? Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. Michael Jordan. Sean Collins. That's and also, me quoting Michael Jordan. <laughs> and also, we always want to be on top of our big picture goals. So first and foremost, next, definitely our next venture will be our private jet. 
and then maybe a podcast. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We have our storage bins. Sean's gonna say, hey, Catherine, do you have that permit for our next job? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, Sean, here, I got it. You want me to hand you this plant? I can't, it's screwed down. Oh, I was wondering, <laughs> isn't this gonna fly all around? <laughs> now, is this structural? Yes, it is, yes. Another key feature of our MCC is a trash can. For Isn't that going to slide all around? For all our trash. No, because it's screwed in. Wow, a lot of thought went into this. So we wanted to maximize space in here. Obviously, it's a van. We need a lot of space to do everything we need. So we have some storage over here. And then we come into our workstations. This is mine. Uh, so I'll be working here. I have my whiteboard that's actually not white. It's plexiglass. Uh, to write all of our ideas or our to-do lists. Um, What's the first thing on there? Get the MCC wrapped. That is our next crucial step. The whole thing is gonna be wrapped. We're gonna get some sick wheels. So this thing is really looking fresh to death. It looks like you could use a little energy boost. You're a little low energy. You're right, you know what? Let's head over to the Red Bull storage. Oh, and check out that sweatshirt. <laughs> Premier Outdoor Living, lock it in for justice. Thank you. I go full shoves. I'm a regular kind of girl. Cheers. Yeah, to getting all jacked up and working in a van. Oh yeah. This is what we're gonna call a TBD space. Uh, we want to work in here a little bit first to see what we're really going to need next, and that will go up here. Whatever storage or, you know. TBD, TBD, TBD. Um, this is the captain's chair of whoever wants to come and talk to us. Uh, this actually spins, so when I'm driving, it can be the other way if someone needs to drive with me, or it's just like our lounge area. If Anthony wants to come in and be like, Sean, we need more deck boards, he can come here and yell at us. And I can write it on my board. <laughs> and for, we only had this on the job for one day, and for somebody that said, I'm never gonna be in there, he was in here <laughs> he a was lot in there a yesterday. Lot. Yeah, he's gonna, be, he's gonna sit here. And uh, Sean, do you want this plant? Yeah, can I hold that? Uh, nope, it's screwed down. <laughs> that looks like it's a spill hazard. <sighs> yeah, right, we thought of that. It's screwed in. Oh, <laughs> pick this up and show everybody that. I can't because it's screwed in. Oh my God. Oh, important files. We gotta do something about that because they're gonna go everywhere. Yeah, you'd think they'd spill. Yeah, right. It's screwed in. What about our chairs? Oh yeah. Not screwed oh, in for justice. Yep. <laughs> Working on that. We weren't sure if they were gonna slide around while driving, but. They do. They do. So we're gonna figure out something for that. A bungee system. Yeah. Did we kind of cover the whole thing already? I think we did. How do they end MTV Cribs? Isn't it like, I gotta be like, no, get out of here! And then I shut the door. Isn't that how they end it? I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, get out of here! I got work to do! Whoa. Well, make sure you hit subscribe, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.